Stepping into Iceland's rugged wilderness, there is a sense of desolation. There are no native amphibians or reptiles, and only one native mammal, the arctic fox. The only life you're guaranteed to see here are the spongy patches of moss covering the rocks that give Iceland a moon's gone green vibe. With an annual mean temperature of 4 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Fahrenheit, Iceland made a perfect location for National Geographic Adventure to photograph the latest innovations in cool weather clothing and gear for the fall. A small crew, including photographer and West Coast editor Steve Casimiro, went over to Iceland in June when the sun is out for nearly 20 hours of the day. Plenty of time to capture some great shots for the October 2006 issue. Driving across the island, it is common to see hot springs spouting from the ground. This is Dil Dörnhungavr, Europe's largest hot spring. 180 liters a second of water at roughly 100 degrees Celsius are pumped by pipeline to heat nearby towns' radiators and plumbing. Thingvellir is a national park in Iceland. It is here where you can clearly see the divide between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. This geological site is also a historical landmark, as Iceland's first parliament gathered here in 930 AD. When you travel around the capital city of Reykjavik, Halgrim's church looms over you. The church's tower is a great vantage point to see the entire city looking at all the colorful buildings that line the streets. You can also find geothermically heated public pools or baths around the capital. Home to Iceland's loneliest landscape, the Snæfellsnes Peninsula boasts a 4,745-foot glacier-capped volcano, a tangle of coastal hiking trails, and one empty beach after another.